Hello everyone, this is Joe Blue, and I'm back with another Bannerlord video. Sorry, it's been a while. I went on a trip, and I didn't have time to upload a video. But I'm back now, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the best tips and tricks that will help you take the absolute most prisoners within your battles. Okay, so we all know we want prisoners for a variety of reasons, whether it to be to sell them to ransom brokers, um, give them for, or donate them to other people so you can get charm raise your charm or recruit them into your own band of misfits which i just so happen to focus on i tend to sell all the other prisoners that aren't cavalry or archers i tend to keep all the cav so i can constantly have an influx of cav and not have to go to specific villages just to get have within my armies but anyways i'm going to be going over how you can get the absolute most amount of these prisoners from the battles that you fight so let's get started okay so for this method or way of getting prisoners you are going to need several items you are going to need term tournament arrows they are extremely important because like i said in my other video the easiest way to increase healing they only injure and wound and only knock them out of battle they don't kill so that is highly important you're going to need that and you're going to need some sort of blunt weapon such as this rusty catafax mace but in reality any sort of blunt weapon will work because they simply knock out the enemy rather than completely kill the enemy and what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to equip this onto your own character so you can, um, or, well, so you can knock out whoever you fight instead of actually kill whoever ends up on the battlefield. And so once you have that equipped, you also want to equip every single one of your companions with blunt weapons. As you can see, he has a mace already. He does not have a mace, I will be equipping him with one. But if you equip every single one of your companions with these, they will. everyone who they attack will simply be knocked out. So that will increase your prisoner count. As well, if you put all of them into their own um, like group, infantry group. Um, let's see. Anyways, if you do do that, as you, by clicking right here, you can put them in a certain formation, and if you put them in their own indi individual formation, you can put them on follow you, and they will follow you into battle, and they will knock out all the troops. So let's do that. We will put them in seven. So when I click on seven in battle, I will be able to just have them be following me. All right, so let's just go and get into a battle. Let's go attack one of these bands of looters and I'll show you how we can take the most prisoners possible. All right, I'll just load into battle real quick. But basically what you're doing to take the most prisoners is equipping them all with blunt weapons and just having you guys, your little group of companions and you attack the enemy and with your very um weapons will just um take prisoners and anyways i'm just going to attack it sorry i feel like a butt lol but anyways we're going to attack and what we're going to do once we load into battle we are going to wait still all right so we're going to press seven we're going to tell them to follow us and we are going to, oh, I press seven, did I not? See, and as you can see with the term, tournament arrows, if I can hit a shot. Okay. Wow. So I have tournament arrows, so I'm just going to go around killing them. As you can see in the top right, they were knocked out. Sorry, this is taking longer than I thought. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Now we're taking prisoners. So basically, that's what you're going to want to do. Is just do all this. Oh, they already broke. Oh, I guess my friends or my troops, archers, just started slaughtering them. But, and then once they want run, you can tell them to charge. And they will, whoever they kill, they will take prisoners. And basically, what you can do, you can fight bigger armies with this method. And you can simply take really good high level prisoners. It's really nice. We took 7 out of the 24, mostly because I didn't want to spend the time doing that. But if you really wanted prisoners, you could. And basically, the rundown is you're going to equip you and your companions with um, maces, blunt weapons, highly important, and tournament arrows. This is going to allow them to take as many prisoners as they possibly can because they won't be killing, they'll simply be wounding. But anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. No, it's been a while. I apologize. And I plan on making a lot more videos soon. Anyways, so thank you guys for watching. This has been Drobo.